It's 2019 people, and the toaster is just not up to this year. Now I've built toasters in the past. We have my wonderful toasting knife. But nowadays we have sliced bread, so we don't need such a device. Now I often get sent emails from people with ideas of things to make stuff. Mostly they're completely rubbish, but Martin me said while I was eating toast, I thought it'd be a great idea to make a clay pigeon toaster. And I was like, he's right. And that's what I'm doing. I've blown the budget already. I've gone and got myself a seven pound toaster. Right, let's pull this to bits. We need to get the heated elements out and just generally see how we're gonna make this clay pigeon toaster. Because what I'm envisioning is like the two heating elements of the toaster with like the trap coming down in the middle and then all the mechanism which fires or clicks it off or whatever, we might have to make our own or do something else. So it's like, pong, and then the toast is flung across the room and I can be like, whoosh, mm. Now after taking this thing apart, I've learned something. When you push your toaster down, it doesn't latch on through a little latch. It basically activates in a little electromagnet and that holds it down. And when the timer says your toast done, it just disconnects the electromagnet and it pops up. And at the same time, there's a little switch here and that's what turns the, uh, the heating coil on. And of course, when that's clicked down and the electromagnet's on, it's holding that down, so that's all on. So when it says, no, you've got to go up, you've got to go, 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 off. If we can put a stronger electromagnet in, which will hold a stronger spring down, bosh! But what I might do, rather than getting it like a clay pigeon trap, which goes like that, I might be better if we went straight up. So it's gonna be a trebuchet toaster, hence why the title does not match up with what I've been talking about. Right, it's all fitted in there. Now if I just push the button, look, it gets hot. Very nice. Now the next thing we need to do is put the solenoid on to control the bigger magnet. So far, so good. Put the bit of metal down, clips the switch, sticks to the magnet, which is run off the uh, cordless drill battery at the moment. Everything else is good, timer works, cancel button works. I can still electrocute myself if I want to really easily. Excellent. Right, now we need to make the old catapulty bit of our trebuchet toaster. Maybe it's a catapult toaster. Maybe that's what this video is called. Right. <laughs>
We should have made the catapult bit before the toaster. This is supposed to be a piece of bread, by the way. Um, kind of looks like a bit of bread. Slightly elongated bit of bread. But that, is that gonna have much power? I don't know, Colin, stick a spring on it. Right, we've got a spring. It might do. There and go. Ta-da! The other thing is, I haven't actually made the thing on the end of it to hold a piece of toast, so I can't even test it. We're not going to build something that holds the bit of toast. I was thinking it can just sit on top of it for the time being. Let's see if we have been successful in making a catapult toaster. Mmm, smells good. Power on. <laughs> in you go. Oh man. Oh yes, the de 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 when's it gonna go? My catapult toaster, baby. Now you see, I could just press the cancel and flick it up, but I kind of feel like a little bit of suspense is what I need at the moment. I can't look over it. You can't look over it, can you? Because it might smack you in the face. This is a total furs invention. Electrocution, risk of impaling, Springs, things can fire off everywhere. Fantastic. I uh, hopefully would have edited this bit down to a reasonable length. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Brilliant! This is butter, obviously. Colin's pleased. Colin is very pleased. <laughs> I want to do that again. <laughs> Oh, look at that. you can't jump! You know it's gonna do it! Ha 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 ha! I want to get you it, yeah! Eh, uh, it's good, it works! Right, I'm gonna kind of give it a bit of a makeover, because I don't know about you at the moment. It doesn't really look like a toaster you'd buy from the shop. It probably still won't when I finish with it, but it will look considerably better than this, y'all. Dinner! Yes, Furs, you have smashed it. Now, we've got some little LEDs around the back of our little toast with a smiley face on it. And then when you fold it down, there's a red LED, which lights it behind here to give a sense of heat. And then, of course, we've got Furs' toaster port in beautiful copper plate down the start. Now then, I like this. This is way too good for the shed. I'm taking it in the air. Ta-da! Put you in there. Right, I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready for it. Right, come on, Colin. You've got to catch it. You've got to catch it. this. Now then, there may be a Mark II version at some point because I can uh, think of a lot of ways I can improve this and also get it do more jobs. Now then, if you like things like this, you will love my other videos. You should subscribe to the Colin First channel and click the notification, like, all that sort of social media stuff. Get on board with it all. See you in the next video. Boo yeah!